You're watching the FirearmsChannel.com. Gain the distinctive advantage with FNS and FNX line of pistols from FNH USA. What's up, pals and gals? George Gifford for the FirearmsChannel.com here at SHOT Show 2013 Media Day in Boulder City, Nevada. It is a balmy 21 degrees, but we're not going to let that stop us from bringing you the following gun montage. Hey, my name is Dave Foster. I'm with Foz Tech Outdoors, and what we have here is our prototype bull pup. Uh, it's for your AK-47 rifle. Basically, you drop your AK-47 into this bull pup, and this bump fire. So it's not just a bull pup, but it is a bump fire bull pup. Grab the weapon here. Put your finger on the rest. Grip this, and it bump fires. I'm Jim with Firebird Precision. I'm here with RAAC at Media Day. This is an MKA 1919 shotgun. Uh, this particular one's been highly modified by Firebird Precision into a race gun for multi-gun and three-gun shooting. Uh, this is a Firebird Extended 15-round magazine. Uh, this gun incorporates most of the features of an AR-15 with a non-reciprocating side charging handle, so no reaching over the top of the receiver. Uh, this one is ported and compensated, has a full Firebird Precision uh, fire control group and stock on it. Hey guys, Foster here from Brownie. We got the new 725. Uh, it's going to be a lot like the XT combos, a little bit thinner in here. We got the mechanical triggers. Overall, a very good shooting gun. I'm Evan McNamara. I'm the director of sales with Chris USA. Uh, Chris USA, we're a manufacturer of small arms. What we're most known for is our vector family of firearms. I have one of them with me today. This is our carbine version, or CRB. It's a civilian legal model of the vector. The other models that we have as part of the vector family are our SDP, which is a pistol model. We have an SBR, which is our short barrel rifle, and our SMG, which is a submachine gun. That one's law enforcement and military only. What's unique about the vector platform is the operating system. So the bolt action in our system, instead of coming straight back into the shooter's shoulder, it gets redirected downward. Uh, because of that, you're able to reduce your felt recoil and your muzzle climb to give you a good controllable platform, especially when you're shooting the 45 ACP round, which is what the Vector shoots. Uh, another thing that's unique about our system is we use standard Glock 21 magazines, readily available, compatible with a Glock 21, um, and it's a nice complement to the system here. This is our, we have a lot of other products under, under development. The next generation model of our system is called the K10. Uh, we're targeting a release of the K-10, hopefully towards the end of 2013. Uh, so that's under development right now, and hopefully we'll have that out sooner rather than later. My name's Melody, and we're out here today throwing some of the SOG knives. Just giving everybody a chance, you know, to like they throw it, go in the backyard and throw some knives, have a little bit of fun. Okay, what we have here, this is the Origin 12 gauge shotgun. Um, the new tactical shotgun that we're launching, uh, Foz Tech Outdoors. Um, some of the features of the gun are your last round bolt hold open right here. It's got an ambidextrous magazine release right here. It's got ambidextrous safeties, forward charging handle. Uh, it's got a patented gas system. Uh, it's got a quick change barrel. Pull one pin, whole front of the gun comes off. Go from an 18 inch barrel down to a 10 inch barrel. And it's also got a, uh, an infinitely adjustable
gas system up here in the front as well. So it's straight in and straight out with your magazine. You've got a 20 round drum. You've also got an eight round stick mag right there. They also make a 30 round drum for the gun. Uh, also got an adjustable gas system and you actually use your shotgun shell for the wrench. Uh, quick change barrel, pull this pin right here. The whole front of the gun comes off. So now you can go from an 18 inch barrel down to a 10 inch barrel. Uh, in the future we're actually going to make this switch from a shotgun to a rifle too. So it's going to be a, a, a gun that can go from anything from 12 gauge to 20 to 308, 556, 762, 9 millimeter. Gonna talk to you about a couple new products we have out. The first one we're talking about I have right here in my hand. This is uh, the G30S. What this is, this is our G30SF platform. Uh, so you have your 10 round magazine capacity, double stack, plus one in, the, one in the chamber. What we've done here is we've taken the slide, we've made it a slimmer profile, really kind of broken it down, taken off some of the bevel in the front end, uh, make it a really con good concealed carry package. Uh, the good thing about this system is you, it also is a double stack. So what it has is you've got your double stack magazine, so you can really con carry it concealed, good package, and then you can take your uh, your 221 SF mags and use those as your backup mags. Worked on with this project uh, with the concealed carry market, and there was some law enforcement units that were carrying 21s that wanted something else compact that they could use either off duty or as a backup carry. Um, the other things we've got debuting this year is uh, the four new guns in the Gen 4 lineup. We've got the 20 uh, in 10 millimeter, the 29 in 10 millimeter, the uh, 30 in 45 auto, and the 357 SIG is uh, the G33 as a subcompact. So that's pretty much what we have. Those are out on the line shooting today. The product is frangible slag caviar uh, 26L and as we, see, as we saw in the uh, test it transfers the energy very fast. Uh, there is no over penetration. Uh, when you shoot uh, two water cans uh, simulating uh, two targets like the good one and the bad one, two, two or one feet apart, it uh, destroys the first one, the second one is intact. It transfers all the energy in the first target. What we have is we have a slide fire stock. Uh, this stock has made it possible to take a semi-auto. Um, this, this is a uh, Sega 545 round. And uh, what we've done is we put a slide in between the stock and the firearm. So what that allows you to do is to get a rapid fire. What we have on the stock, I'm going to flip it over here. What we have on the other side is we have a finger rest. What we're going to do is we're going to come through, we're going to hold our finger on the finger rest, we're going to hold that steady. And that no longer moves. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the firearm and instead of pulling the trigger here, what we're going to do is now we're going to slide the firearm forward. So we're going to ease it forward when it goes off, and then the recoil is going to throw it backwards. So as I hold forward pressure, the recoil is going to throw it back and we're going to get a rapid fire out of it. Make it happen. All right, let's do it.
one thing is, another thing is you can also have single shots. So I still have access to my trigger. I'm gonna do a couple single shots and I'll do a few bursts for you also. So we can go. There we go. This is the new wing one. It's a handheld thrower, the ultimate and new generation of throwing. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, uh, techniques thrown by it. Number one is the load. If you look at it, I'm loaded. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm loading and I'm throwing. And we can do nine of those in about six seconds. This is the Heckler & Koch MR556 long rifle package. Comes equipped with the G28 buttstock, the tan pistol grip, the manta rail covers, bipod and optic, along with a uh, nice vinyl carrying case. That's our new product for this year on the civilian market. And we're gonna put some rounds through it and see how it goes. the distinctive advantage with FNS and FNX line of pistols from FNH USA. You're watching the firearmschannel.com.